one of the world's greatest mysteries solved. A map found inside the Bull Leaping Fresco of Crete Island. The famous Bull Leaping Fresco is known to everyone. The Bull Leaping Fresco, as it has come to be called, is the most completely restored of several stucco panels originally sited on the upper story portion of the east wall of the palace at Knossos in Crete. If we take a look at the Bull Leaping Fresco and put a Google map of Crete Island on the top of this fresco, we can see that, there is a map of Crete Island painted inside this fresco. Though it is heavily reconstructed, we can see this map clearly. If we extract the map inside the fresco and match with the map of the Crete Island, we can see that the result is quite astonishing. Also, in the north part of both the maps, you can see that there is an island in the same shape. In Google Map, it is Kythera or Scythera Island. Both the map of islands, in the fresco and in the Google, situated nearly the same location. Their size also nearly the same. Of course, it is true that the bull leaping fresco was heavily reconstructed. So the original shape of the Crete island of inside the fresco may not be like the original which was created around 1500 BC. It is true. To understand the original map, we have collected an early image of the bull leaping fresco. After excavation in the Crete island in around 1900 AD, the bull leaping fresco was restored. This picture of the fresco is taken from the book The Palace of Minos, Volume 3 1930 by Sir Arthur John Evans. If we put Google Map of the Crete Island on top of the Bull Leaping Fresco, we also can see that Google Map of the Crete Island matches with the inside map of the fresco perfectly. Now a little bit of history, it is possible that the Minoan civilization knows how to create maps. As proof of using maps by the ancient Babylonian and Egyptians were also available around the same time. An engraved map from the Kassite period of 14th to 12th centuries BC of Babylonian history shows walls and buildings in the holy city of Nippur. Also, examples of maps from ancient Egypt are quite rare. However, the Turin papyrus map dated approximately 1160 BC shows the mountains east of the Nile where gold and silver were mined, along with the location of the miners' shelters, wells, and the road network that linked the region with the mainland. Its originality can be seen in the map's inscriptions, its precise orientation, and the use of color. So, maps were known to those ancient civilizations of the Minoan, Babylonian and Egyptians. Certainly, the style of the map of the Minoan civilization is unique. They using a map as a base of paintings or frescoes. They are matching those maps with known animals and draw that animal around it. The Minoan civilization knows that the shape of the Crete island is like a running bull. It is maybe one of the reasons why this civilization takes bulls as a key part of their culture.